ओके uh see so we we are now going to deal with the mathematical proof correct mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so mathematical proof mm -hmm. <laughs> So what is basically a proof? It is basically, it is a logical and structured argument. Mm -hmm. And structured argument to show that A mathematical statement. Mm -hmm. Mathematical statement. Mathematical statement mm -hmm. is always true. Mm -hmm. So, what is basically mathematical statement? What is basically mathematical statement? So, mm -hmm. I will give an example. For example, I will give an example for the mathematical statement. Mm -hmm. Then we will prove that using our proof. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is our statement? So the statement example. So I'm doing an example of, of for a mathematical statement. The mm -hmm. statement is as follows. Product of two odd numbers the product of two odd numbers is odd. So that is a mathematical statement. So we need to prove this statement or we need to show that this statement is always true. So this is the statement. This is an example for statement. Mm -hmm. So example for the statement. So how to prove this? How to prove this? How to prove this? Mm -hmm. So this can be achieved by following the this flow chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will follow a flow chart for stating mm -hmm. this statement true. Mm -hmm. What is that? Acquiring as much as knowledge about this statement or the mm -hmm. theorems that are related with this statement. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Based on known facts or theorems, mm -hmm. uh, apply these theorems logically. Mm -hmm. Apply theorem logically. Mm -hmm. Then come to conclusion based on these theorems. Mm -hmm. That we applied logically, we'll come to conclusion and we'll make a we'll make mm -hmm. a statement of proof for mm -hmm. this mathematical proof. Okay, so we will do an example. So we will do an example. Mm -hmm. So what is basically an example? Okay, so this proof, the mathematical proof. mathematical proof is achieved mathematical proof is achieved by using a method of deduction mm -hmm. achieved by mm -hmm. method of deduction mm -hmm. so what is method of deduction i will give an example so we will co come to our co previous example so what was our statement mm -hmm. So what was our statement? The statement was very simple. So what was our statement? The product of? The product number sorry, sorry. The product of two 
odd numbers product of two odd numbers is odd okay so what is our mm -hmm. product that what is our step so we should mm -hmm. gather facts or theorems that is mm -hmm. related with the related mm -hmm. with the uh, odd numbers mm -hmm. clear okay so mm -hmm. since they are saying that it's odd number correct mm -hmm. so we will assume let p and q be the be any integers so let it can take any integer mm -hmm. so it can be take three so we don't know whether this p and q are uh, odd numbers or even number so it can take either it be the even number or even uh, odd number so mm -hmm. it, so p, p and q can take any value so mm -hmm. but we know if if i am multiplying if i am multiplying p and q with the two definitely mm -hmm. this becomes an even number yeah and even this 2q is also an even number yeah the next consecutive term uh, after this even number will be always an odd number correct mm -hmm. next consecutive say for example 2 the very immediate term is always an even odd number correct so very immediate term mm -hmm. after this even number is always an odd number correct so mm -hmm. that means we can say that 2p plus 1 is always odd number correct mm -hmm. and yeah. similarly 2 cube plus 1 is also an odd number. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? No. No. Then, we, so that what is our statement? We are going to show that the product of two mm -hmm. odd numbers. So we are going to take the product of these two mm -hmm. odd numbers. Mm -hmm. 2p plus 1 multiplied by 2 cube mm -hmm. plus 1. So, can mm -hmm. you please expand? Can you please expand this? 4 q p 4 p q yeah plus, plus 2 p 2 p plus, plus 2 q plus 1 1 so can you factorize this what is common for these three times 2 is common two, correct yeah. so 2 into 2 p q plus, plus p plus q plus that's what we know that this is this is basically a purely number but this is multiplied with the 2 definitely this term is always an even number Mm -hmm. But even number plus one is always what? Mm -hmm. Even number plus one is always what? what? Yeah. Odd number. So we can say that since since mm -hmm. an even number even number mm -hmm. plus one even number plus one is always an odd number mm -hmm. this statement is true. this statement is true does it make sense yeah yeah so uh, you should always you should always follow five steps to solve any mathematical proof so steps for mathematical proof so you should remember these steps so we are following mm -hmm. these steps to solve any kind of questions regarding mathematical proof so first step is mm -hmm. theorems gathering theorems correct so state mm -hmm. any assumptions Mm -hmm. Stating state any assumptions you are using. So can you uh, come? I mean, come, can you correlate with this previous example? So what was our statement? The so statement was this: If mm -hmm. two p is an even number, two p plus one is always odd number. Correct. So we gathered mm -hmm. information and we got we accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, we acquired some knowledge and that's how we developed two terms or two odd terms 
then after that what we what we are doing what we are doing after that step number 2 what is our step number 2 so step number 1 is state any assumptions you are using then step number 2 show every steps of your proof so the what is our every step we multiply these two and we expand mm -hmm. the track then mm -hmm. then make sure make sure that mm -hmm. every steps are logically mm -hmm. logically arranged mm -hmm. and step number 4 make sure make sure we have covered mm -hmm. we have covered all possible cases mm -hmm. so that means we are doing we are considering each and every aspect and uh, we are not leaving any loop holes for this mm -hmm. group okay so that means it is it should be you know it should be proved without any doubt mm -hmm. that is our that is our ultimate aim. okay then finally what we'll do finally write write a statement of proof mm -hmm. write a statement of proof okay so we will do one example mm -hmm. so we will do one example Mm -hmm. So question number 1 mm -hmm. question number 1 prove that prove that mm -hmm. three x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 mm -hmm. multiplied by x plus 7 Mm -hmm. is equal to is equal to 3x cube plus 3x cube plus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 8x square minus mm -hmm. 101x minus 70 so that is our question mm -hmm. x plus 2 into x minus 5 into x plus 7 so that is our question so how to deal with this question so this side is known as r this side is known as lhs mm -hmm. and this side is known as rhs so what is lhs left hand side mm -hmm. and what is this right hand side so in this kind of questions what we have to do is start from start from from left from either from left or left uh, left or right I either start from one side start from mm -hmm. one side okay mm -hmm. start one side start from one side and shoot mm -hmm. arrive at other side and we should arrive at the other side okay so in this mm -hmm. case what we do commonly we will start from lhs so commonly we will start from lhs so we will mm -hmm. first write this lhs so 3x plus 2 into x minus 5 into x plus 7 mm -hmm. so this is our lhs then mm -hmm. based on our knowledge so we know we know how to expand algebraically algebraically this yeah. term okay so after expanding arrange logically and if you are getting the final answer as rhs then we can say that this statement is true mm -hmm. okay so can you start can you start yeah. Yeah. yeah so first you take these two times 3x mm -hmm. plus into x minus 5 3x plus 2 into x minus 5 Can you expand? So three x into x is three. Three x into minus five. Minus minus fifteen. Minus fifteen x. 
then 2 into x is 2x minus 10. Uh, minus 10. And then, then that should be multiplied with x plus 7. Mm -hmm. So before that, we have to rearrange it. So 3x mm -hmm. square minus 15x plus 2x is minus 13x minus mm -hmm. 10 and uh, into x plus 7. Mm -hmm. Then we expand it. So 3x square into x is 3x, 3x. square. Yeah, 3, 3x square into x is basically 3x cubed. Then uh, minus, 13x minus, minus, 13 x, yeah, minus 13x square minus 10 into x is minus 10x minus 10x. And next time is 3x square into 7 is going to be plus 21 square. square minus. So Not uh, uh, minus uh, 13 into 7. What is 13 into 7? It's going to be 101, correct? 91. Now minus 91x, sorry. So minus 91x minus 10 into 7 is minus 70. Yeah. And uh, we can say that 3x cubed is there. So you write 3x cubed here. 3x cubed after <laughs> simplifying. So minus 13x squared. And 21x squared. What is that? My plus 8 squared. Ah, yes. Plus 8 squared. Plus 8x squared. Then, minus 10x minus 91x. That is going to be minus 100x. Yeah. Minus 70. And that is what we started from LHS. And that is exactly equal to RHS. Mm -hmm. So then we can say that RHS. Is exactly equal to LHS. Okay. RHS mm -hmm. is equal to LHS. So this is a proof of statement. Mm -hmm. Did you get my point? Yeah. Yeah. So we will do some exam questions. Okay. So question number one. Question number one. Uh, that's related with the question number one. Uh, so so we did question number one. Now question number two. So try, prove that. Prove that n square minus n. Okay, prove that n square minus n is an even number. Even number. Even number for all values of n. So for mm -hmm. all, so this is not basically it does not have any left hand side or right hand side. So this is a mathematical mm -hmm. statement. The mathematical yeah. statement says that. So what is a mathematical statement? N square minus n is an even number for all values of n. So whatever be the value of n, whatever be the value of n, the n square mm -hmm. minus n is always an even number. That is their mm -hmm. statement. So we have to prove this statement. We have to prove this statement. So mm -hmm. in these kind of questions, gather some information or gather some theorem that is related with this statement. First of all, you should, you know, you should bring some idea that related with the n square minus n to prove this mathematical statement. So what idea you can introduce here to prove this mathematical statement. So here you can use the method of deduction. You can use method of deduction. Mm -hmm. You can use method of deduction. So what is basically method of deduction? What is basically method of deduction? Mm -hmm. Method of detection means we are simply inputting some values. Mm -hmm. So n can take any value, correct? Yeah. So you arbitrarily put some values. Can you put one which is other than which is even? Yeah. So you can do, you can suppose for example n. You suppose suppose simply you, you substitute n is equal to what? Mm -hmm. Seven. N is equal to seven. <laughs> So what we'll get? 49 minus 7, which is 34. No. 
42. Yeah, yeah, 49 minus 7, that is equal to 42, that is an even number. Mm -hmm. Then input an even number, n is equal to 8. Simply input it. So 8 square minus 8, that is 64 minus 8, is going to be 56. That is also an even mm -hmm. number. Mm -hmm. So, um, say n is equal to 100. So 100 square, say, no, n is equal to 101. Okay, 101. So 101 square minus 101. So what is 101 square? Hello? Yeah. This 101 square minus 101. That is again 101, zero, zero. That is an even number. Yeah. So we can generalize that for any value of n, this is always an even number. So this is one method. This is one method. Clear? Yeah. Okay. But see, this is, you know, uh, this is not the, I mean, of course you can use this method of deduction, but you can use some standard methods. Okay, so we can use some standard method to prove this statement. Okay, so you can correlate this example with, uh, you know, uh, with the example that we ex explained mm -hmm. for mathematical proof. Okay, so what was the equation for uh, uh, generally the nth term of an even number is what? The nth term of an even number is what? Nth term of an even number is 2n. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. And what is, the, uh, what is the nth term of an odd number? Even number two plus 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1. So you can, what is the general expression given in this n square minus n? n square minus n, correct? Mm -hmm. n square minus n. Um, n square minus n. So you can input this 2n in this. You can input this 2n in this so instead of n. So what happens? 2n whole square mm -hmm. minus. 2n. Mm -hmm. So 2n whole square is 4. 4n. 4n square minus 2n. 4N. So that is equal to you can take two common, correct? Mm -hmm. So what is remaining? 2n square minus yes, n. n. Definitely, since any value, see this this can take any value, but this is multiplied with 2. That means this number oh. is always an even number. Correct? Then yeah. you can input this value in this general expression. So what happens? 2n plus 1 whole square minus 2n plus 1. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Any doubt? No. No. Can you expand this, please? Yeah. Can you expand this? 2n plus 1 whole square. So this is of the form a plus b whole square expansion. So what is a plus b whole square expansion? x squared plus... Yes, to a b plus b square. B square. Yeah, yes. So this is the <coughs> this becomes what? 2n plus whole square. Whole square plus yeah. 4 uh, to, uh, into 2 into 2n into 1 plus b. 1 square. Yeah, 1 square. Then this is minus 2n minus 1. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because as we are expanding the bracket, it becomes both becomes minus. So 2n whole square is 4n square. Mm -hmm. Plus 2 into 2 is 4n. Plus 1 <clears throat> minus 2n minus 1. So 1 mm -hmm. and 1 got cancelled. So what we are getting? 4n square plus <clears throat> 4n <throat> minus 2n. So what is common mm -hmm. for these three terms? 2 is common. So we yeah. can say that 2n square plus 2n minus so what is 2n minus 2n is my 2n minus n that is 3 uh, 1n so that means this is equal to 
2 multiplied by 2 n square plus n. Mm -hmm. so whatever be this number, this is multiplied with 2. Mm -hmm. We know that this we can authenticate that this is also mm -hmm. even number since the mm -hmm. proof is correct. So this is how we are logically arranged, and we came in the conclusion that these two aspects will be your two cases will give a final answer as even number. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. So can you move to the next question? Yes. Question number three. Question number three. Prove that. Prove that. Prove that x divided by 1 plus root 2 prove that x divided by 1 plus root 2 is equivalent to yeah equivalent to equivalent to yeah equivalent to equivalent to uh, yes x root 2 minus x okay we just need to we just need to multiply that whole thing with 1 minus yeah, very good. Yeah, so we can start from LHS. So what is our LHS? X divided by one plus root. And we have, we know that we can, so the term that we used is rationalizing the denominator. So what mm -hmm. is rationalizing the denominator that we learned in P1? Yeah, we multiply it to the uh, opposite. Yeah. Times one minus root two by u one minus root two. Yeah. So try to expand it. So that is one minus root two divided by one minus root two. So we know that this denominator in the form a plus b into a minus b. So x into one minus root two. Expand it. So, what is the answer? What is basically one x minus x minus x root two? Yeah. So, x minus x root two by negative. negative. So that means if you are multiplying x by minus one, it becomes minus x minus x by that is x root two. So that we are mm -hmm. getting x root two minus x. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so that's about this question. Can I do the question 13? Yeah, question 13. Yeah, you will do. So what is our question? Question, let me see that question. The equation the equation k x square. Mm -hmm. Plus five k x plus three mm -hmm. is equal to zero, where k is a constant. 
okay is a constant has no real has no real roots okay has no real roots so what is what we have to prove prove that prove that k mm -hmm. satisfies the inequality satisfies the inequality zero less than k mm -hmm. less than less than less than 12 by 25 so this is our question okay so gather some information regarding this quadratic equation so this is a quadratic equation right so what is our quadratic equation so solution so what is our quadratic equation general equation for a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero so that is a general expression or general uh, equation for quadratic equation now for a quadratic equation we learned that for a general quadratic equation either it has two roots or one root or no roots mm -hmm. so here no real roots is mentioned so it is happening when if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then we can say that one root mm -hmm. if b square minus 4ac greater than 0 two real roots if b square minus 4ac less than 0 no real roots so which category or which falls in our question which category falls in our question mm -hmm. b square minus 4ac less than 0 because it is given <coughs> it is given in this question it has no real roots so it has no real roots clear so that means so what is a what is our general equation or the the quadratic equation given in this question is kx square plus kx square plus 5kx plus 3 equal to 0. So comparing with the general expression, we can say that a is equal to k, b mm -hmm. is equal to 5k, and c is equal to 3. Any doubt? Mm -hmm. No. No. So what is b square minus 4ac? So we know things. So now, yeah, now we can write a statement here since it has no real roots mm -hmm. b square minus 4ac is always less than zero zero yeah so that means b square what is b square so 5k all square minus 4 multiplied by what is k k into into c what is c 3 less mm -hmm. than so 5k whole square if mm -hmm. that is 25k square minus 25k square minus mm -hmm. 25k square minus 12k less than 0 so this is a quadratic inequality so this is a quadratic mm -hmm. This is a quadratic inequality mm -hmm. in terms of k. In terms of mm -hmm. k. So we are getting an x inequality. It's 25k square minus 12k less than 0. Mm -hmm. So we need to prove that it is happening when the value of k something in between mm -hmm. 0 and 12, 25 by 12, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that means, so how to deal with the quadratic inequality? So we know that since the coefficient of k square is greater than zero, mm -hmm. if you are drawing a graph for this, mm -hmm. definitely, so we have to find the critical points. So how to find the critical points? 25k square minus 12k, you equate to zero. Yeah. Then you can factorize this. You can take k. Mm -hmm. So k into 25k minus 12 
is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. So that, that means it is either happening at k equal to zero or 25k minus 12 equal to zero or 25k mm -hmm. is equal to 12 and or k, k is equal to 25. Yeah, 12 by 25. So that is happening exactly at these two points. So these are the mm -hmm. critical points. So mm -hmm. one is so 12 by 25 and zero. So if you are drawing a graph of this, if you are drawing a graph of this, we are getting a shape like this, a U shape. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is the shape. So this is the shape of 25k square minus 12k. Mm -hmm. 25k square minus 12k. So that means what is our inequality? So what is our inequality? 25k square minus 12k should be less than zero so it is happening so you just see it is happening here from here to here the value is less than zero correct the value yeah. of k, value value of 25k square minus 12k is zero in this region so in between zero mm -hmm. and the 12 by 25 ah, very good very good so that means we can say that in this is happening when this is happening when k value which is lies between 12 by 25 mm -hmm. and uh, 0. Yeah. But we need to prove this is less than or equal to 0, correct? Okay, why less than or equal to 0? What is our what is our quadratic equation? kx square plus 5k plus 3 equal to 0, correct? Suppose if k is equal to 0, then there is, see, it doesn't make any sense for this quadratic equation. If k equal to 0, that, that means it is not a quadratic equation at all. Mm -hmm. Correct? So that means we have to, we have to, so we, we know that, that means mm -hmm. if it is not a quadratic equation, that means that it has no real root, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so did you get my point? So we, we have to include k equal to zero also in this inequality. Why? Mm -hmm. because, because if k equal to zero, that means it is not a quadratic equation. So we, that means we have, mm -hmm. that means when the k value is in between 0 and 12 by 25. Apart from that, if k equal to 0 also, this equation is not a quadratic equation. So that means this is the answer for this question. So k lies between 0 and 12 by 25 also includes, also includes 0. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? Yeah. No. Which question now? You read the question 18. Okay. Question number 18. Yeah. Okay. So, a circle has an equation. This is the question, correct? Yeah. A circle has equation. Uh, x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to k mm -hmm. where k is greater than 0 where k is greater than 0 the straight line mm -hmm. the straight line l With the equation mm -hmm. L with the equation y is equal to ax, y is equal to ax mm -hmm. cuts the circle cuts the circle at mm -hmm. two distinct two, mm -hmm. two points. Mm -hmm. Right now L if the equation y is equal to ax cuts the circle at two distinct points. Mm -hmm. Prove mm -hmm. that. Prove that k is greater than a square by one plus a square. So we have to prove. So we need to prove this statement. This is a mathematical statement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so prove that k is greater than <coughs> s square divided by 
1 plus a square. So that is our question. So how to prove this question? So how to prove this question? So read the question in very detail. Okay, so don't skip any point in this uh, question. So a circle, the general equation of the circle is given here. So we have a circle. So the equation for the circle is x minus one whole square plus y square is equal to k. And a line is cutting the line with the equation y is equal to x cuts the circle at two distinct points. So that means a line is going something like this and it is making intersection at uh, two points. So what is the equation for this line? Y is equal to ax. And we know that <laughs> these two equations form a simultaneous equation. Why? Because definitely it is intersecting at intersecting at two points. So mm -hmm. we can since we know that this point and at this point and this point, both x and y value for this equation for the line and the equation for the circle definitely satisfies at these two points mm -hmm. A and B. Why? Because mm -hmm. it is intersecting. Yeah. Yeah. Simultaneous equations. So, yeah. So can you please solve these two simultaneous equations? Can you please solve these two simultaneous equations? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was the simultaneous equation? So what was, uh, yes, so what was the equation? X minus y square, square plus y square is equal, equal to k. k. And what is the equation for y? Y is equal y to k. Is. Okay, so can you plug in this value of x? In, well, can you please plug in this value of y in this equation? So what happens? So x minus 1 whole square. Mm -hmm. plus ax whole square is equal to k. Mm -hmm. So can you expand this x minus 1 whole square? That becomes x square minus 2x mm -hmm. plus 1 plus a square x square is equal to k. Mm -hmm. Then at bring the similar terms together. Attach the similar terms together. So x mm -hmm. square plus a square x square minus mm -hmm. 2x plus 1 minus k is equal to zero. If you are bringing k to this side, it becomes minus. So what is common here? x square is common. So x square into one plus a square minus two x plus one minus k is equal to zero. Yeah. Definitely this is a quadratic equation, correct? In terms of x square, correct? Yeah. So we know that this line and circle is exactly meeting at the two points that means it forms two real roots mm -hmm. so if it forms two real roots why because it is intersecting at two points two points how many solutions two real solutions yes. so that means b square minus 4ac should be greater than zero correct mm -hmm. so what is the value of a so a is 1 plus a square. What is b? Minus 2. Mm -hmm. What is c? 1 minus k. So we can say that b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. Mm -hmm. So so what was, what was our b? What was our b? b is minus 2, correct? Yeah. yeah. So minus 2 all square minus 4 multiplied by 1 plus a square into mm -hmm. 1 minus k. Mm -hmm. 1 minus k because b square minus 4ac mm -hmm. greater than 0. So here minus 2 whole square is 4, correct? So 4 minus 4 into 1 plus a square into 1 minus k greater than 0. Mm -hmm. So you can bring minus to this side. It becomes 4 greater than 4 into 1 plus a square into 1 minus k. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need the value of k, correct? Yes. So you retain this here. So 1 minus k is 4 divided by 4 into 1 plus a square is greater than mm -hmm. 1 minus k. <coughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. So 4 forward cancel. We are getting 1 by 1 plus a square greater than 1 minus k. 
correct yeah then bring k to the side and bring this to the side so what happens minus k becomes plus k so k greater than k greater than uh, 1 minus 1 by 1 plus a square mm -hmm. any doubt no no then can you rearrange it what is 1 minus 1 by 1 by a square 1 1 means it is 1 by 1 yeah. So, so k greater than 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 plus a square. So, cross multiply it. Mm -hmm. So, k greater than 1 into 1, that is mm -hmm. 1 plus a square, minus 1 divided by 1 plus a square. Mm -hmm. So, that's cross multiply. So, this is minus. Okay. So, 1 and minus 1 got cancelled. We are getting k greater than a square divided by 1 plus mm -hmm. a square. And it's good. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? No. No. Ne next, which question? Question 19. Question 18, we did. We did? 19? Question 19, yeah. Question 19. Okay, so what that? What is our question? Prove that. <laughs> Prove that the line. 4y minus 3x plus 26. 4y minus 3x plus 26 is equal to 0 is a tangent tangent to the circle mm -hmm. tangent to the circle mm -hmm. x plus 4 whole square mm -hmm x plus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square mm -hmm. is equal to 100. So prove that the line 4y minus 3x plus 2y, 2 and 26 is equal to 0 mm -hmm. is tangent to the circle. So we will, you know, dig some background, uh, uh, we'll dig some background uh, information regarding the circle and the tangent. So what is the speciality or what is a, can you correlate this with a, a circle theorem that you learned uh, in uh, circles? Okay, so if you have a circle, okay. if it is a tangent, then we know that the, uh, the, 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 the product of the gradient of radius multiplied by the gradient of tangent will give, we know that this angle is always 90 degree. Mm -hmm. So we know the equation for the tangent. So prove that. So we assume that this is a tangent. So what is the equation for mm -hmm. this line? 4y minus 3x plus 26 is equal mm -hmm. to 0. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then after that, what you have to do is, uh, what we have to do is very simple. The thing is, uh, you try to uh, figure out, you try to figure mm -hmm. out uh, the coordinates of the center. So what will be the coordinate of the center? Uh, minus 4, 3. Why it is minus 4, 3? Because the general equation of the circle with the center A and B is x minus A whole square plus y minus B whole square is equal to R square. Yeah. Now, so if you are comparing here, instead of minus A, we have plus 4. So we, get, we know that 4 is equal to a, a minus a is equal to 4 or a is equal to minus 4 and uh, mm -hmm. minus b is minus 3 so b is equal to 3 so the center is equal to minus 4 3 mm -hmm. then what we have to do is solve these two simultaneous equations because it is exactly meeting at this point so solve the simultaneous equations and find this intersecting point so using mm -hmm. this intersecting point, you can find the gradient of this radius. Mm -hmm. And we know the equation of this line. So we, from that, we can figure out the gradient of this tangent as well. So that gradient multiplied mm -hmm. by this gradient, if you are getting minus one, then we can say that these two are perpendicular or there it is tangent. Clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you try to first solve the simultaneous equation. If 
this line is a tangent. Mm -hmm. mm, it's a line tangent. This line exactly intersect with circle mm -hmm. at one point. Mm -hmm. So what was the equation for the line? What was the equation for the line? Uh, y for y minus 3x plus 26 is equal to 0. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the equation for the circle? x plus 4 whole square mm -hmm. plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to 100. Yeah. So you can uh, you know, uh, you can make or you can make either x or y a subject, and uh, you write an expression for x or y. Then you plug in that value in here and solve this equation and find the coordinates. Mm -hmm. So four y minus three x plus mm -hmm. twenty six is equal to zero. So you can bring this um, twenty six to this side or bring this minus three x to this side. So we are getting four y is equal to three x minus twenty six or y is equal to 3x minus 26 by 4. Then you can plug this value in this equation. So mm -hmm. x plus 4 whole square plus mm -hmm. x plus 4 whole square plus, uh, what was our y? What was our y? Uh, what was our y? 3x minus 26 by 4. Mm -hmm. 3x minus 26 by 4. Mm -hmm. minus 3 3x minus 26 by 4 minus 3 mm -hmm. all square is equal to 100 all square is equal to 100 does mm -hmm. it make sense yeah then you expand it so what is x plus 4 whole square so x plus 4 whole square plus 3x minus 26 minus 12 divided by 4 whole square mm -hmm. is equal to 100. So we take, we, I took mm -hmm. the LCK. Okay. That's what. So 3x minus 26 minus 12 divided by 4 whole square is equal to 100. Then you expand mm -hmm. it. It becomes x square plus 8x mm -hmm. plus 16 mm -hmm. then uh, it becomes uh, 9 x square. My, what is minus 26 minus 12? Minus 26 minus 12 is going to be? Minus 38. Minus 38. So minus uh, 3 into, uh, so this is 2 into uh, 3x into, uh, so minus 2 into 3x into uh, 38. 38 plus 144 by 4, I mean 16, mm -hmm. is equal to 100. Mm -hmm. So, square plus 8x plus 16 plus 9x square minus 2 into 3 into 38 is minus 228x plus 144 mm -hmm. by 16 mm -hmm. is equal to 100. Mm -hmm. Then you take mm -hmm. the LCM of this. So 16x square plus 8x plus, no. So 16 multiplied by x square plus 8x plus 16 mm -hmm. uh, plus 9x square minus 228x plus 144 divided by 16 mm -hmm. is 200. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. Then you expand bracket, please. Expand the bracket. 16 into x square is 16 x square. 16 into 8. 16 into 8. 128. Plus 16 into 16. 256, correct? Yeah. Plus 9 x square minus 228 x plus 144. If you can bring this to the side, is equal to 1600. Yeah. So I repeat. So 16x squared 
plus 16 x square plus uh, 2 128 so 128 plus 128 x plus 256 minus 9x square <coughs> minus 9x square uh, not no, minus plus 9 9x square minus 228 mm -hmm. so minus 228x plus 144 is equal to 1600 so 16 plus 9 is going to be 25x square plus 128 minus 228 is going to be minus 100x. Mm -hmm. So minus 100x plus 256 plus 144. 256 plus 144. 400, correct? Yeah. Four. That is equal to 1600. So you bring this so 25x square minus 100x plus 400 minus 1600 is equal to zero. So we are getting again a quadratic equation, 25 x square minus 100 x minus 1200 is equal to zero. Solve this quadratic equation and find the value of x. So 25x square minus 100x So what is the answer for x? I don't. I haven't written anything. It says. It says that the, the equation is wrong. What happened? You are not getting the value of x. No. Why? It says that the equation doesn't have any rational uh, solutions. How oh, you put this twenty? Input this twenty-five. So a is equal to. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So minus minus 100 plus or minus root of 100 square minus 100 whole square minus 4 into 25 into minus 1200 divided by 2 into 25. Mm -hmm. So minus minus becomes plus 100. So 100 plus or minus root of 100 square is 10,000 minus 4 into 25. So 4 into 25. So 4 into 25 into 1,200. So it becomes plus 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Divided by 100. 2 into, no, 2 into 50, 2 into 25. That is 50. So that means 100 plus or minus root of 120,000. That means 130,000. 130,000 divided by 50. Then you calculate 130,000 root of 130,000. That is 360.55. So 100 plus or minus 360.55 by 50. So first value will be either x is equal to 100 minus 360.55 by 50 or 100 plus 360.55 by 50. Mm -hmm. So 100 minus 360.55 divided by 50. So we are getting minus 5.21. Mm -hmm. Then 100 plus 360.55 divided by 50. Uh, we are getting 9.5. Two. So we are getting two values of x. So either it is happening at a 
negative 5.21 okay. or so it is not yeah yeah so it is not happening altogether either it is at minus 5.21 or 9.21 okay mm -hmm. so so what is the equation for y what is the equation for y what is the equation for y we got we y is equal to 3x minus 26 by 4 correct yeah. so when x is equal to minus 5.21 what will be the value of y 3 into minus 5.21 minus 26 by 4 calculate it 3 into minus 5.21 minus 26 divided by 4 so that is going to be minus 10.41 so when x is equal to when x is equal 9 to 9.21 yeah, so 9 the value of y will be 3 into 9.21 minus 26 by 4 so 3 into 9.21 minus 26 divided by 4 that is at the that is happening at 0 0.4075 so we are getting the two values of y mm -hmm. so if it is uh, so this is this was our circle and this is our center this is our center so what is what is our center minus 4 uh, minus 4 3 and if this is the tangent if this is the tangent it is either happening at the so what was our coordinate so minus 5.21 if it is minus 5.21 this is 10 point mm -hmm. this is 10 point what 10 point for my negative 10 point four one correct yeah. negative 10 point four one okay then you try to find the gradient so gradient of radius So, this gradient of radius, please. Y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. So that is negative ten point four one minus three divided by negative five point two one minus minus four. So negative ten point four one minus three divided by negative five point two one minus minus four. We are getting eleven point eleven point zero eight. So gradient of radius is equal to eleven point zero eight. Yeah, that's a very good. We did any mistake? No. Okay. Now, <clears throat> eleven point zero. So similarly, suppose. So this is eleven point zero. Suppose mm, if it is happening at a, if it is mm -hmm. happening at this point. Mm -hmm. mm. So another point we are getting is what? Another point we are getting is uh, what was our next point? So it is happening at this point or this point. It's not happening simultaneously. Yeah. So next point is we have we have to check both these points. Nine point two one, nine point two one, and zero point four zero four zero four zero seven five. Mm -hmm. So nine point four one and zero point four zero seven five. Okay. So what will be the gradient? The gradient will be equal to 0 0.4075 minus 3 divided by mm -hmm. mm, divided by 9.41 minus minus 4. Mm -hmm. 0 0.4075 minus 3 minus 3 divided by 9.41 minus minus 4. We are getting minus 0 0.19. Mm -hmm.
so uh, so what is the gradient of the what is the gradient of tangent what is the gradient of tangent so what was our equation 4y minus 3x mm -hmm. plus 26 is equal to 0 mm -hmm. or 4y we are getting 3x minus 26 or y is equal to 3 by 4x minus 26 by 4 mm -hmm. so that means the gradient of the tangent is equal to 3 by 4 mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means uh, you need any mistake x plus 4 whole square uh, x plus 4 whole square x square plus 8x plus 16 9x oh I made some mistake here where this is not this is minus um, that is 38 square correct yeah So that's what I'm. I'm also checking thirty-eight square, one four forty-four. Mm. So one four 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 zero plus two fifty six. One four 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 plus two fifty six. Thousand seven hundred. Plus hundred. So that is plus thousand seven hundred minus thousand six hundred equal to zero. So twenty five x square minus hundred x plus hundred is equal to zero. So if I am completely dividing it to 25, what happens? It becomes x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. So 1 minus 4. So here getting we are getting x is equal to. So that was our mistake. Mm -hmm. So by solving. <laughs> we are getting x is equal to 2 mm -hmm. x is equal to 2 did you get my point what was our mistake uh, yes. yeah okay so now uh, come to our conclusion so when x is equal to 2 when x is equal, only one value are getting only one value mm -hmm. are, we are getting when x is equal to 2 mm -hmm. so we are getting x is equal to 2 so what what will be the value of y 3 into 2 minus 26 by 4. So 3 into 2 is 6. So 6 minus 26 by 4. So 6 minus 26 is minus 20. Minus 20 by 4 is minus 5. So what we are getting? Um, this was our circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, this point is 2 minus 5 and this uh, this is our tangent and this is our center so what is our center minus 4 3 and you find the gradient of radius so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so mm -hmm. what is our y2 minus y1 so calculate it y2 means minus 5 minus 3 divided mm -hmm. by 2 minus minus 4 we are getting minus 8 divided by 6 so we are getting minus 4 by 3 mm -hmm. so 
we are getting minus 4 by 3 is the gradient yep. radius. And mm -hmm. uh, what will be the gradient of tangent? Gradient of tangent. So what was our equation? 4y minus 3x plus 26 is equal to 0. Or 4y is equal to 3x minus 26. Or becomes y is equal to 3x minus 26 by 4. We can say that y is equal to 3 by 4x minus 26 by 4. So the gradient of the tangent is 3 by 4. Mm -hmm. So so you can say that if this line is a tangent, gradient of radius multiplied by gradient of line should give mm -hmm. minus 1. So what is the gradient of radius? Minus 4 by 3. Mm -hmm. So minus 4 by 3. And what is the gradient of this line? 3 by 4. So 4, 4 got cancelled, 3, 3 got cancelled, we are getting minus 1. Since the product is equal to minus 1, we can say that this line is the tangent. tangent. Did you get my point? Yeah. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Next question. Can we do methods of proof now? Yeah, the method of proof. So, what is basically methods of proof? Uh, Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Even my video is also visible, correct? No, it's yes, it's visible. Yeah. So, method. So, Carmen, you please share my YouTube channel to your friends, okay? Okay, sir. So, please, I need subscribers because. Uh, I need to, you know, I need to give some online classes, basically, that basically mm -hmm. helps everything. Every, I mean, it's basically free of course I'm doing this thing because I need to help a lot of students, those who are, you know, difficult to find, go to school and all. So that's why. So please do subscribe and uh, that's it. Okay, I, I saw, I saw your, you know, your li you liked my page on Facebook, I saw yeah. that. Okay, so methods of proof. So methods of proof. So what is basically methods of proof? So this can be done by, this is, met, is proved by methods of proof. That means we are going to prove any statement using method of, method of extortion. That means E, X, H, a U S T I Y mm -hmm. methods of extortion. So what is this? So we'll do an example. Mm -hmm. Suppose I need to prove the sum of two consecutive terms, square numbers mm -hmm. between hundred and two hundred is an order number. Okay. So I need to prove what is our statement? The sum of two consecutive Terms between mm -hmm. some of the squares of some of the some of the squares of two consecutive terms between two hundred and two hundred is always an odd number. So that we have to we have to prove the statement. Mm -hmm. So what we have to take, take some random values, take some values to two consecutive terms between 100 and 200 say for example consecutive terms means nearby terms 15 and 16 so if i'm mm -hmm. taking the square of 15 square plus 16 square calculate it so what is 15 square plus 16 square we are getting 481 so that is an odd number correct yeah then take another value, 2021. 
square, 20 square plus 21 square. 20 square mm -hmm. plus 21 square. That is also an odd number. Yeah. So we can say that, so the sum of two consecutive times between 100 and 200 is always odd number. So this is known as by method of deduction. So this mm -hmm. is known as method of deduction. So what is method of exhaustion? That means method of exhaustion means we are developing a general equation for these two consecutive times. We are developing two general equations. See, consecutive times means, say, for example, so I'm taking a, and for, for example, I am considering one value. Say, for example, n, mm -hmm. n is an integer. n is mm -hmm. an integer. Then it is mean multiplied with the two. Mm -hmm. This 2n is a, a number between 100 and 200. Yeah. We know that 2n is definitely an even number, correct? Yeah. Okay. Then the consecutive time means very next time will be 2n plus 1. Consecutive means nearby times. So two, yeah. if 2n is the first time, then the next consecutive time will be 2n plus 1. Does it make sense? Yeah. Then if you're taking the square of these two times, so 2n whole square plus 2n plus 1 whole square. Yeah, find it. What is 2n whole square? That is 4n square. Yeah. 2n plus 1 whole square is what? What is 4? For, for 2n plus 1 whole square? 4n square. 4n. Plus 4n plus 1. Plus 1. Then 4n square plus 4n square is 8n square. So 8n square plus 4n plus 1. So here from these two terms, we can take two common. So it becomes 4n mm -hmm. square plus 2n plus 1. Mm -hmm. Definitely this is an even number, but that plus 1 will be an odd number. So we can say that this is definitely an odd number, correct? Mm -hmm. So known as method of exhaustion. This is known as method of exhaustion. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we will do one question. Mm -hmm. Question number, uh, question number one, one f. Mm -hmm. Question number one. Prove that n is an even. Yeah, uh, prove that when n is an integer, and uh, n is between one to my six, then n plus n is equal to n plus two is not divisible by ten. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So prove that when n is an integer and n is between 1 and 6. Mm -hmm. And we need to show that m is equal to n plus 6. The result is always, <coughs> always is not divisible by 10. Mm -hmm. So tell me what are the different n integers in, in, in this that, that satisfies this inequality? The, tell me the all values of n that satisfies this inequality. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So n can take these 6 values, correct? Yeah. Because that definitely satisfies this inequality. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then you plug in this value. So suppose if n is equal to 1, what is the value of m? m is 7. 7. Yeah. So what will be if n is equal to 2, what is the value of m? m is 8. Okay. So if you are writing all the set values of m, we can say that 7, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9. Then, seven, sorry. 7 is one number, then 8, 9, 10 plus, oh, n plus 2, this is n plus 2, sorry. So equation for m is n plus 2, correct? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so input it, this is m. So 1 plus 2, that is 3. 
2 plus 2, it's 4. And uh, 3 plus 2, it's 5. 4 plus 2, 6. Then 5 plus 2, 7. 6 plus 2, 8. So this, all these numbers are not divisible by that. Correct? Yeah. Hence we proved M is not the divisible of that. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So shall we call off for the day? We'll continue. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye.